Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vanessa. I put out videos twice a week related to all things lifestyle and self-care. Now this video is a little different. Because I'm going to be showing you some of my best self-care products that I use and that I live by. Definitely helped and improved with my self-care routine and I hope it will do the same for you. When people think of self-care, they normally think of skin care and oral care and body care. But self-care means more than that. Self-care is literally taking care of your full self. Your self-care is what you do that helps you improve yourself. Improve your self-esteem, your desires, your happiness, your joy, whatever brings you that peace and happiness. It may be your skincare routine, it could be maybe your fitness routine, whatever it is for you, don't let nobody tell you otherwise. So let's start off with the face. If you guys watch my video, you know I love, I love CeraVe. I love CeraVe product and I'll go ahead and I'll insert them in this video. I love their silica acid face wash. I do have sensitive skin and that face wash literally takes everything off without stripping my skin dry and without causing me to break out. And I do also use their daily moisturizing lotion. I think it's for your body, but I use it on my face. It caused no problem. And I also use their body cream. You can use it on your face too, but I feel like that's too thick for my face. So I love the lightweight feeling of their daily lotion. Face massages are really good. I use this under eye roller to help deep up, especially when I put on my eye mask. I like to go in with this under eye roller to help deep puff my under eyes. So these are a few of my favorite eye masks and again I'll insert pictures and videos. So this is the eye treatment mask. It is 24 karat gold. You place it under your eyes and it's supposed to lift and rejuvenate your under eyes and remove dark spots. I just got this like a couple weeks ago. I haven't seen any difference yet but I still got it because it's the it's the one that's going viral on TikTok so I was like you know let me give it a try. Honestly these are my favorite because these are much thicker and these are infused with green tea and collagen. This actually helps depuff your eyes. So when I put these on, I always go in with like my eye roller and I roll underneath. And then this, when I put on my face mask, I like to smooth my face out and brush it in, pull back. So this I definitely recommend. And these are at Ross, Target, TJ Maxx, or whatever store that you go to. They're like $3 and $5. Sometimes they come in little kits. Another product that I love, a face mask, and this one could be either hot or cold. It looks a little creepy. But you warm it up in the microwave for three to five seconds. It gets warm or you can put it in the fridge. And once you finish your skincare routine, you could always go ahead and put this on your face. The jelly side touches your face. So it's a therapeutic gel filled beads, microwavable and freezable. Soothes, relieves, deep puff, and gets rid of soreness on your face. So face massages are a great way to help you relieve tension and stress from your face. They also help you improve your blood circulation and reduce puffiness. And then of course you don't have to spend a bunch of money on face mask or face product. You could literally get them for $4, $3. Let's go into oral care. Of course, get you a nice toothpaste and toothbrush. I'm not going to get too much into that. Brush your teeth. Don't be gross. Don't walk around here with morning breath and stale bad breath in people's face. That is disgusting. Don't do that. Okay? This right here. This. Oh my gosh. I love this. I hate flossing. I honestly dislike flossing. Like, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. And because I started Invisalign, I have to floss between my teeth at least twice a day. This water pick comes in handy. And I do want to say all of this will be linked in my Amazon storefront. You click the link in the bio or you click the link below and you'll find, um, oops, sorry, you'll find my Amazon list. You click on self-care, you'll see all my self-care products, including this beast because she is lovely. So you fill it up with water and you spray it in your mouth. Again, I'll insert pictures, and it has three different modes. It has normal, soft, and pulse. Pulse is annoying. Pulse is it's, it's so freaking annoying. Soft, mm, it's okay, but that normal, that normal, that that could clean grout. That could clean your whole grout because that, that pressure and that normal speed is ridiculous. So I love it, and they do come with different attachable heads. Um, but this is the one I use that I give my husband one so he his has the blue on the bottom so ours are different. But they have different sizes. But this go in between each tooth. 
and your mouth is fresh like you you literally see food coming out of your mouth that you think your mouth is clean no your mouth is not clean until you floss with a water pick get one and I also got a tongue scraper because no matter how much you brush your teeth with your toothbrush you always have that white stuff on there get a tongue scraper it helps to take off all of that whiteness on all that gunk and build up off of your tongue so for body care I love a good body product I love a good moisturizer I love a good body scrub I love the Dove. I'm going to get sponsored by Dove because I promise you I use all their stuff. I love a good Dove product. I love their polish, their body polish. You need a good, a good body polish and you need a good moisturizer to bring all that moisture back into your body. In all my videos that I talk about doing my body treatment, my clay mask, my turmeric mask and all of that. If you're going to use a sugar scrub, which I definitely recommend sugar scrub because they help to exfoliate your body. They help to take off all the dead skin and open up your pores. So when you go in with your moisturizer, your skin just soaks up all that moisture and you feel nice and soft like a baby's behind. And you don't feel, feel rough and tough like somebody been kicking rocks. Like, no. Treat yourself. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Invest in a nice body care. I see everybody love the tree huts. And again... The Tree Hut products, they are good. Dove products are good. The Dove body polish, not only does it exfoliate and remove that dead skin, it also leaves a polish. Like that Dove, mmm, mmm, mmm. I love that Dove. I love Dove. I also, if you do have sensitive skin, which I do have, I use the Dove uh, sensitive skin bar and I use it in my private areas or areas that I don't put scents and fragrance. You, you know where that is. Yeah, so I used her down there and I had no problem. I remember a gynecologist back in college told me about Dove and I've used it ever since. And now I am 35 and I think that was like, child, I don't know. I think I graduated 2011 from there. So from 2011 till now, I've been using Dove and I've been stuck on it. I have no problem with this. And get a moisturizer because once you remove all that moisture and all that from your skin, you're gonna need a nice moisturizer. Right now, the most popular one is the Native Moisturizer. It was okay. I use um, the Mary Kay Silk. Oh my gosh, that Mary Kay feels so good. It feels just like the Native. I'm not going to lie, but I think Mary Kay makes me feel more silky and more sexy. Like when it's time for me to get ready for bed and hubby's there. Yeah, get you that Mary Kay. Another thing I recommend for body care, get a nice body moisturizer I live in South Florida and it is hot it is super duper hot huh. humid so get a nice moisturizing cream I love the CeraVe moisturizing cream it puts so much moisture back into your product when I say that sucker is thick slap me on the ass and call me Betty baby that is thick it is that is thick. That is a thick cream. You could turn it over and that's okay. It's not falling out. I love to put that on my body. And I also love oils. I love a body oil. I'm surprised I don't have that much. But this is from a company on Instagram. It's called Indigo's Bath Company. I love their products. Um, I had this one for a while. I even forgot I had this one because I had so many other body oils that I use. But I recently came across this in my closet and I'm like, yeah, rose rose scented we're, we're gonna bring that back we're going to bring that back but i love after my shower to go in with a nice body oil and i feel so nice and slippery and sexy and silky and just goddessy half the times my sheet get messed up but that's not the point it's worth it when you're looking all glazed donuty you know you know that look I'm talking about. You just all oiled up from head to toe. You just glistening. That's why I love a body oil. So you could use a moisturizer after your shower or as soon as you get out of the shower and you wipe yourself off, get a body oil to just lock all that moisture and seal all that moisture in. And when I say I have sensitive skin, I have sensitive skin. My skin will itch like crazy. You will see me scratching like a crackhead if there's something on my skin that doesn't work for me so I always go with light fragrance if I see the first thing on the ingredients is fragrance da -da 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 -da, artificial fragrance that I don't want it I know my skin will break out so I don't get it 
I always look for stuff that have water first. Water, water, agua, whatever else you say in another language. Water, and then I look for like a light fragrance. So I'll go with something like a light strawberry or or light watermelon or mango. I love anything with mango, baby. And oof, I love anything with mango. Mm. Or this one, the, this is green tea. So I love anything with light scents because the more fragrant it is, the stronger it is, it irritates the heck out of my skin. And when it got too much on the bottle, I don't get it. Like I stick to 10 ingredients or less because if it got more than that, baby, I'll be. No, I don't do that. So get you a nice body cream and body oil. Water break. Speaking of water, I love water. Incorporate water into your self-care. This is my go-to. I have people ask me about my skincare routine, my face routine. And honestly, if y'all watch my video, you can see my skincare is basic. I use a CeraVe silica acid and then I use a CeraVe blow sugar on my face. That is it. I don't use any serums or anything. But one thing I do stick by is water and my girlfriend says not water but my mom have really good skin throughout the day throughout the week you'll see me with two things coffee in the morning and water that is it i don't even drink juice whenever i'm drinking juice best believe it's mixed with something it's mixed with it's mixed with jesus juice because that's the only time i drink juice i love to set the mood in the shower and if you know me and you watch my videos i love a candle I love a candle. So if you're a candle company and you want me to do a sponsor, I love candles. I love candles. Hit me up. So I, and I'll insert some of my candles from Bath and Body Work. I love a candle. I love to set the mood. Not only is the flicker that just turns me on, but I love the smell. Even though my nose is little and my allergies be killing me, I love a good smell and soft scented candles, baby. Bath and Body Work, they're my go-to. I don't be buying them for $25, no. I wait for candle day and I stack up on candles. These are two of my favorite shower steamers. I got this as a gift, but I think this came from like Ross or TJ Maxx and one of them. This one is Body Crystal and it's rose and it's sea salt. And when that rose opens up, whew, I love dealing with a rose. <laughs> But I love these also. So these are different fragrances. Shower steamers, you put them in the shower and they open up the room. And they have different um, scents. So this is watermelon for relaxation, recharge your energy, peppermint cooling. This one is vanilla. I'm recently now getting into vanilla, so that's nice. This one is lavender that will help put your butt to sleep. I think this is probably mint. Anything is green is mint. Menthol, yep, eucalyptus, okay. Yeah, same thing kind of. And grapefruit. But if you don't want to spend all that money, just get you a nice candle. Get you a nice candle that lasts long, that can smell really good. And you don't have to worry about getting all of these. If you don't want candles, you're not a candle person, shower steamers, put them in the shower and it just opens up your senses. And you just feel like you're at a spa. Daydreaming and I'm thinking of you. Another thing that I love when it comes to smelling good and relaxation, I love diffusers. I think we have one, two, three, we have about four in the house. <laughs> I love a good essential oils. If you go upstairs in my master's bathroom, baby, we have, I have so many, so many of these. But my two favorite scents are anything with lemon, lemon zest, and this is sweet orange. I like a citrusy smell. So I go ahead, fill this with water and do one or two drops. I'm lying. It says one or two drops, but I'm Jamaican. I got heavy hand, baby. I'm doing about five to ten drops. I don't know. I'm and dropping, dropping. When I get sick and I get stuffy, I get my diffusers out and I get my eucalyptus oil. And baby, when I say that room is filled with just, it smells like a rainforest and I could breathe. Right now, I'm a little stuffy, but we're going we gonna to get through this. We're going to get through this haul because I, I it, it needs to go up. Even though this is for face, I saved this for last because this is my newbie. 
And when I tell you I love this, I freaking love this face steamer. This helps to open up your pores, let you go in and puck out your blackheads. It helps to depuff. It helps to cleanse. It helps to put your moisturizer and your serums in your face. Get your pores open up for those. I don't know what I was doing without it. I use it twice a week so far, but I think I'm gonna stick to just using it once a week or probably two or three times a month. When I say this makes my face feels good, that hot steam, especially in the mornings, because sometimes I stay up until 3 a.m. in the morning, which is bad, I know, but I got shit to do. When I use it in the morning, it wakes me up. It literally wakes me up. But get you a face steamer. I This one is okay, I don't, I haven't been using it that much. I think I've used it either two or three times. So I'm not gonna say I recommend it, but it's easy. It's on Amazon, it's pretty affordable. Another thing that I would recommend for your self-care that's really good, I don't have it here, but I'll insert pictures, is a yoga mat. Get you a nice yoga mat. You could go to Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, Walmart, the dollar store, and get a simple workout mat or a yoga mat. I saw them at Five Below also. Use it for your fitness practice. You can use it for meditation. You could take it to the park and just have a picnic. Invest in your self care. That's one thing I always say. I have to invest in myself. So I look at my self care as I'm investing in myself and in my self care needs. So if it's a nice product that I love, if it's a nice perfume that makes me feel good or makes me happy, I'll get it. If it's anything that brings me peace, I'm going to get it. If it's for, if I want it, I'm going to get it. And that's how I look at life. If you're not happy, if you're miserable, you're literally going to bring that miserable and that unhappiness and affect everyone around you. Don't let anybody tell you that self-care is selfish or self-care is not needed. Self-care is important to your overall health and well-being. Take yourself on dates. I am happily married, but I will still go out by myself. I'm not looking for nobody. I'm not talking to nobody. It's just that alone time. I work from home. I have a three-year-old and I'm always around my kid and my husband. And sometimes you just need that alone time you don't even have to go to a fancy restaurant you could take yourself to the park take yourself on a lunch date take yourself to the movies one of my girlfriends just went to the movies by herself and i love that therapy i know some jobs offer about eight to ten session therapy therapy is a good way to help with your self-care so if you don't want to do all of this you don't want to focus on your skin care your oral care you don't want to do any aromatherapy you don't want to do fitness yoga you don't want to do any of that get therapy talk to someone talk to a friend or family those are the easiest and most affordable self-care hacks that you could do find a happy place like for me i know the ocean is my happy place whenever i feel like i'm just like i'm pot is piling up and you know that you know when you get to that state in life where you just feel like everything is just dumping on you it's one thing after the other it's one thing after the other my escape my recharge is the ocean i love the ocean that's one thing i love about florida we are surrounded by water but because i cannot get to the ocean every day or as much as i want my shower is my go-to five minutes in the shower ten minutes in the shower I literally set the mood if I'm not lighting a candle I'm having my essential oils in the shower I'm splashing them on the wall I have my diffuser I have my crystals you know I have my um, my shower steamers I turn the light off I put on some music and that's another thing music music will help to lift your spirits I did have my speaker get a nice speaker a good speaker you don't have to get the expensive one but get a nice portable travel speaker those are good i have one in the shower and we take one with us wherever we go but i literally set the mood for my showers and i take my time and i go through my process it's just me in the shower and i'm just being thankful and grateful that i have that time because i know some people don't have that time and i get it i get it but find some way each day to incorporate self-care in your daily routine because it is well needed. It will help lift your mood. It will help you to feel better. It help you be a better person overall. Because sometimes we're so caught up in being angry and going through whatever that we're dealing with that we don't realize that it's affecting the people around us. 
So when you take care of yourself, you fill your cup up, you fill your jar up, you are able to pour into other cups. You're able to pour into your husband, into your spouses, into your children. Important. And then you always have to remember to recharge yourself, refill yourself up, take that time for you. Make a drink, you know, have a drink at the end of the day. Take a nice long bath, go for a walk. Constantly filling yourself back up. Be nice to yourself, be kind to yourself. Sometimes we get caught up into being people pleasers that we're not pleasing ourselves. And we go out our way to please other people and the person that suffer is ourselves. Stop suffering. Stop putting yourself last. Put yourself first. It's not selfish. It's not self-care is not selfish. Pour into yourself. Take care of yourself. But I always tell people self-care is more than luxury. Honestly, self-care could be something as just as simple as going for a walk. You don't have to be crazy and do anything luxurious or spend a bunch of money. Take a bath. Take a walk. Talk to someone. Whatever makes you feel good, whatever makes you feel relaxed that is self-care whatever brings you happiness and peace and that you can always do that routine to make you feel good that is your self-care you don't have to spend a million bucks but also sleeping getting enough sleep drinking enough water sometimes doing absolutely nothing just laying your ass down taking a nap sleeping full eight hours that's self-care and I feel like a lot of people don't know that when we hear self-care, we think of the big things. But literally sometimes doing nothing, absolutely nothing, that's self-care. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, my name is Vanessa. I put out videos twice a week related to all things lifestyle and self-care. And I hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.